Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 max chapter 8 cards and wheels worksheet with answers. Um, if you are uh, new to this chapter, please uh, watch uh, the introduction and textbook solutions video. I will give the link in the description box so that it will be very easy for you to answer all these questions from this worksheet. First, I will be showing the question slide for 30 seconds after which we will be discussing the answers. If time is not sufficient, you can just pause the video and answer the questions. Raise circles of different sizes using bangles, coins, bottle caps and such other circular objects. Color the smallest circle in red and the biggest circle in grey. Here I have raised few objects. We are going to color the smallest circle in red. This, this should be red here and this should be green. We are going to color it to make the difference. Whichever objects we have raised, you, have, you can find the biggest and smallest and you can color it in green and red. Observe the surroundings and list any three articles which can be used to draw a circle. So here I have mentioned bangle, tumbler, glass, coin, plate, bottle cap. These are the things which you can make a circle out of this. You can uh, draw any other uh, object if you like. Next. Relationship between radius and diameter. The time starts now. The answer for this is radius equal to diameter by 2. If radius is given, uh, you have to find from the diameter, you have to divide it by 2. If you want to find diameter from the radius, you have to use this. So, radius into 2. That is the relationship between radius and diameter. Next, which is the biggest wheel you have seen. You can draw the picture now. So this giant wheel is a picture which uh, I uh, chose for the biggest wheel. You can uh, draw whichever uh, wheel you have seen. Next, filling the blanks. Here hint is given. You are going to fill the blanks with a given hint.
dash is a simple closed curve circle dash is a line that runs between the circle and its center so this is the circle this is the center uh, this point and the circle is radius dash divide the circle into two halves so diameter divides the circle into two halves circumference is a distance around the circle so this this distance around the circle is circumference next name the parts of the circle given below Here the answer is this O is center, ST is diameter, and OT is radius. Using compass, draw circles of the given radius equal to 5 cm. So we can take a compass and uh, measure 5 cm radius. We are going to draw a circle using compass. You can pause the video and uh, draw a circle and continue this worksheet. Next, use a compass to make two designs in two separate circles. What you are going to do is, so you are going to draw two separate circles using compass and you can draw any designs out of this like this so like this you can draw any designs in this circle next fill in the column radius and diameter is given you are going to fill the column whichever is black here hint is given, diameter and uh, radius formula is given, you can use that and fill this. The time starts now. The answer for this is you have to multiply by 2 for to get this you have to divide by 2 you have, you have to divide by 2 for this to get uh, 3 cm and you are going to multiply 2 you are going to divide by 2 you are going to multiply by 2 and this for this you are going to multiply by 2 this is how you should fill the column to find radius or diameter based upon the question you have to divide or multiply Next, draw a circle with a radius 6 cm with the same center. Draw another circle of radius 4 cm within the circle. Draw third circle of radius 2 cm within the circle. The answer for this is first you are going to take a roller and mark this as center and take 6 cm. So suppose this is 6 cm you are going to draw a circle and again you are going to take 4 cm with the same center you are going to draw another circle again with 2 cm you are going to draw another circle. So this is how you should uh, draw different radius within the same circle so 
chapter 8 worksheet ends here hope this video is useful and understanding if you if you cannot understand any topic from this worksheet you can just uh, go through the textbook solution and uh, introduction video so that you will find easy to solve this worksheet thank you all we'll see in the next video thank you all